Howdy everybody, Jordan here with another video. A little bit different scenery today. We are in town. Even people that live out in the country, middle of nowhere, we get to town once in a while. We got a few things to do today to start the video, then we're gonna get back to the farm and work a little bit. First thing here is a grocery pickup. If you haven't experimented with Walmart pickup yet, it's amazing. I'm just waiting in my car for the groceries. Got a huge amount of groceries today and they're gonna be putting them in the trunk here in a little bit. This little pup's got some uh, rabies shot to get today, which is the main reason we came to town. And then also just gonna fill gas, get some food, and other little town stuff that I can't avoid whenever I come here. So sit back and enjoy. I'm waiting for my groceries. Let's play the intro and get started with today's video. Thank you. Have a wonderful day. Yep. Dieting. Thanks. I don't know if McNuggets are made out of chicken, slime, goop, whatever, but they're amazing. Anyways, welcome again to another video. Just leaving town number one, which is where our grocery pickup was. Headed over to where our vet is, and we're gonna take Piper to get her rabies shot. That's all that's left in the list though, so I wanted to get into what's going on today as far as the farming is concerned, what did you guys miss? Well, you did miss some stuff. We started combining sunflowers the other day and tested it one day, had to change some of the settings, so kind of shut it down for the day, and then combined the next day, well, my dad did. And not too far into that harvesting, a tire popped in the front of the combine, which are the really big tires. We'll just keep those around the farm. So with that damage done, we had to get a new tire and wheel and all that for the combine, the 9610. The 9760 is still on soybean duty because we have those few hours left. So our one combine down, my dad went to South Dakota today to pick up what he needed for that repair. And the tire guys were coming out today to fix that combine. So now we're gonna take this little girl in the back to get a rabies shot. And then we'll go find out what's going on. See how that combine's going. Maybe show you guys that if they're not working on it already and see what the day holds. I, I had some uh, vet records for her too. Yep, she's right there. She might, she might bark, but she's nice. Go outside. Thank you. No problem. I'll be out in just a minute. All right. Piper, what's up, girl? Come here. Piper, come here. How's the doctor? How is the doctor? You get your vaccine? Come on up here. Come on. Yeah, good girl. Let's get you naked. There you go. Well, Piper's vaccinated. We're on our way home. I'll check in with you guys when we get back to the yard. I'll probably unload all these groceries and buzz out with the rhino to hopefully show you that tire if possible and uh, get to work. We'll see what we're gonna do when we get home. It's about one o'clock right now, so we still got a whole half a day ahead of us. Stay tuned.
right, everybody, slight change of plans. We missed the opportunity to go out and look at the tire that was flat. I was gonna show you that today and kind of theme this whole video off of that, but they already are working on the tire out there, which is good, I guess, to get that repair done. I'll put a picture of the flat tire here. I'm guessing they'll leave the flat tire here when they leave and put on the nice new one. So then the Sunflower Combine is back up and running and we'll get started on that later this week. Right now I'm actually gonna go combine some soybeans. There's two locations that aren't quite done yet with the soybeans. The first is the last field, which you saw. It's down that way. The other is the, actually the first field that I harvested soybeans on the YouTube channel back a few videos ago. That's down the other way and there's not very much left, maybe 30, 40 minutes, maybe an hour down there. So I'm gonna go finish up that part. I'm gonna take the combine out there and set us up for later this week where we'll finish the soybeans, cross that off the list. We'll probably get those done somewhere late in the week, Thursday or Friday, maybe even Sunday. So for now it's combining time. Sorry we weren't able to run down to the combine to look at that flat tire, but it is what it is. Good to get the repairs done. So let's get started, finishing another field of soybeans. About to hop in the 9760. everybody so we came down here to this field piper and me did that is not done yet i finished the other one which means this is the last one left and there's not a whole lot here maybe a couple hours is all up there to the north you can see the soybeans i actually combined the rest of my hopper full here i just didn't record anything you can see a little indicator window have it completely full full of beans we're gonna head home with a pickup my dad's actually combining sunflowers right now he's on a second hopper full dumping into the cart probably to end the day today we're going to be taking the grain cart home dumping those sunflowers into the semi for another load hauled to town uh, but he's going to continue combining sunflowers since the combine is fixed from the tire people so that grain cart and sunflower job will actually be at the end of the day and we're going to first get the tire out from the field they kind of left it out there in the middle it's a big job we're going to have to get the skid steer out there pick it up with the forks, put it on a flatbed trailer, leave the skid steer out there, bring the tire home, go get the skid steer later. It's gonna be a big process full of moving stuff around. So we're gonna go start that process right now, even though it might take a little bit of time all by myself. So you'll probably see the flat tire and the damage done to it. Um, those tires, not your typical tire change. That's for sure, those things are monsters. So let's go start that process right now. Well, everybody, I don't know if you guys know this, but I work out sometimes. Lift some weights, put them down, clang the tin, so to say, smash the iron, go to battle, whatever you want to call it. I lift a little bit of weights. I might be overestimating what I can do, but I'm going to go try to move that tire by myself without the skid steer. Because it would save a lot of steps. It doesn't feel like cutting corners. It feels like maybe I would save some time. And my dad's out there combining, so if needed, we can get two brute Stoltz boys behind that tire and hopefully easily lift it up onto a smaller trailer than we bring the skid steer out on and then have it just in the trailer not have to worry about leaving the skid steer out and all this crazy stuff that we were planning on doing. So uh, wish me luck. We're gonna give that a try. Of course, I'll film it in case I embarrass myself or greatly impress you. Either way, I want to have it on record, so that's the plan. Stay tuned.
everybody. Got to keep working out. Got to keep clanging the tin, smashing the iron and all that. Couldn't quite get it up by myself. But like I thought, two Stoltz boys are better than one. And we got it up on the trailer with no skid steer. That is a big tire though. Big, heavy, and expensive fix for the farm. We'll take a look at that when I get out of the pickup. Right now, last load of sunflowers is being dumped into the grain cart and we're gonna take that home dump the grain cart into the semi and then um, come back out with the grain cart so he has something to dump in. I'll probably end the video a little early tonight so I can go do some more uh, deadlifts, bicep curls, things like that since I just got uh, embarrassed on camera. All right, let's look at this beast. The rim was easy, rolled it right up. The tire, I don't even know if I could have rolled it up once we got it flipped up. So that's how much space is taken up on the trailer, which isn't a small trailer, it's a monster. And there you go close-up look at a combine tire that didn't quite make it through harvest. There's the damage to the rim right there. And uh, we had to get the rim and the tire replaced. So the rim was a part that could have been expensive with that little trip to South Dakota my dad did. Saved a lot of dinero. The tire did end up being very expensive, a few thousand bucks. Of the change and all that, service call and such, so kind of a pain but you can see he's going again harvesting sunflowers and you just kind of got to do what you got to do to keep the combines going during harvest you excited to go Well folks, thanks for joining me for another video. Did a lot today. Went to the city, the town. The tire got fixed, got at home, combined some soybeans, all great stuff. More great stuff will continue to happen if you subscribe to the YouTube channel. Jordan Stoltz on YouTube if you're watching this on Facebook, or you might be on YouTube, not subscribed, which is a big no-no. So be sure to subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching and for all the support. I'll see you guys in the next video.